Hey everyone, and welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are on a mission to become water detectives. We are going to crack the code on how incredible water systems work and travel all the way to our homes and schools. Water is like a superhero in our world. We use it for everything from drinking and cleaning to watering plants and even creating electricity in giant dams. But have you ever wondered how this magical liquid gets to us so conveniently? Where does it all begin? Every water system story starts with a water source. This could be a sparkling lake reflecting the sky, a mighty river rushing through valleys, or even hidden treasures called aquifers, pockets of groundwater deep underground. Did you know? The Amazon River in South America is the world's longest river, stretching over 6,400 kilometers. That's like driving from New York City to Los Angeles and all the way back again with some extra day tours. The cleaning crew, water treatment plants. Now, water from these sources might not be quite ready to drink just yet. It might contain things like tiny pebbles, leaves, or even microscopic creatures. That's where amazing places called water treatment plants come in. Think of a water treatment plant as a giant spa day for water. Here, the water goes through a series of filters and cleaning processes. It's like a bubble bath, only much more high-tech. These clever processes remove any impurities, making the water crystal clear and perfectly safe for us to drink. Did you know? Ancient Egyptians used to purify their water by boiling it or letting it sit in the sun in clay pots. Pretty smart, right? Storing the treasure, water tanks. Once the water is sparkling clean, it doesn't magically appear in your faucet. It gets pumped into giant storage tanks like enormous water reservoirs. Imagine them as giant water bottles, holding enough water to quench the thirst of an entire town. From these tanks, a network of pipes becomes the star of the show. These pipes, hidden beneath our streets, are like a water highway system, carrying the treated water all across towns and cities. From pipes to faucets, the final journey. Finally, these underground pipelines reach our homes and schools. That's right, every time you turn on the faucet, water travels through this incredible network to reach you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Before water comes out of our taps at home, it gets cleaned up at a water treatment plant. They take out all the dirt and germs, so it's safe for us to drink. Did you know that people have been figuring out ways to clean water for thousands of years? It's like a secret mission behind the scenes. From the source, to treatment, storage, and finally, through the pipes, water undergoes a remarkable journey to reach us. Saving our superhero, water conservation. With water being so important, it's crucial to remember that conserving it is a superhero mission too. Every drop counts. Did you know that people in some places use up to 88 gallons of water every day? Here are some ways you can become a water-saving warrior. Take shorter showers, even a few minutes can make a big difference. Turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth, don't let the water run freely. Water your plants only when the soil feels dry, they don't need a constant shower. By following these simple tips, you're helping to ensure there's plenty of clean water for everyone, today and tomorrow. Sometimes, there's not enough water to go around, and that's called a drought. It can turn green, lush places into dry, dusty ones. But throughout history, people have come up with clever ideas to deal with droughts and keep water flowing. One smart way to save water is by collecting rainwater. We can catch rain from the rooftops and use it for things like watering plants or flushing toilets. People have been doing this for a really long time, 
even in ancient civilizations like the Mayans and Incas. Want to explore more amazing geography topics with us? Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more educational adventures. Thanks for joining us on this water detective mission.